Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial of my go-to glam look. When I am on a rush out the door, I am on limited time to think of what glam look that I want to wear for an event or going out on the town or hanging out with friends and I want to have a little bit of a fancy makeup look going on. This makeup tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I achieve my go-to glam look. So as it is right now, I actually have about an hour and a half before I need to go out and meet my friends. And we're going to go out for a few drinks, maybe hang out a little bit later out on the town. I don't know. It's, we're just going to see where the night leads us. And I thought I may as well film the process of me getting ready and show you guys how I achieve my go-to glam look. It is a black smoky eye with some glitter over the top to really make the look pop. So yeah, if you want to see how I create that look, then just keep on watching. Also, before I go any further, if you guys are wondering why I don't put the beauty montage like the, this is the look that I'm doing today at the beginning of the video now and I don't start my videos with my face already done. And that's because I did a poll on my Instagram stories. Yeah, let me know. I'm going to leave another poll. Please let me know because I want to improve my videos for you guys. Asking you guys how you enjoy watching makeup tutorials. Like, do you enjoy the beauty montage at the beginning of the video? Or is it like the first 30 seconds you watch it? Oh, I've seen the look, I don't need to watch the rest of the video or should I put the beauty montage at the absolute end of the video and like and this is the finished look sort of thing instead of like and this is the finished look or the first 20 seconds of the video does that make any sense? So I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently I'm going to be doing the montage at the end of the video so hopefully you guys stick around till the end to see the finished look Anyway, my clock is ticking. I need to get ready to go out tonight. So before I go any further at any point throughout this video, if you guys do enjoy it, then please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Key Guy. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, you guys are up close and personal. You can see my little uh, squatter here on my face, not paying rent. So I already have my face primed at the moment. All I have on my face is my glycerin. This is what I've been using as skincare, moisturizer, everything. If you guys have not yet seen my video talking about glycerin, then I will leave the link of that video in the description box down below. But this stuff is a lifesaver. If you have not yet used glycerin, then girl, you're missing out. <laughs> so first of all, I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. And this one is a really light concealer because I'm gonna be using black eyeshadow over the top and I kind of want the black to stand out as much as it possibly can. So I'm just gonna start with this. Oh, I forgot to say in the intro, the reason why this particular look is my go-to glam look is because it's a black smoky eye and it matches with nearly every outfit that you'll choose to wear because black obviously goes with everything. So that's why this is my go-to glam look when I don't want to have to think about how my eye look is going to match with whatever clothes I decide to wear. And at this point, I haven't even quite decided what I'm going to wear out tonight. So um, that's why this is my go-to glam look like I already said half a million billion times before. Over the top of that, I'm gonna go in with some creamy black eyeliner. This one is just the Rimmel Waterproof Cold Kajal Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid area, but not go up any further than my crease. I know it's looking fairly wild and scary right now, but just trust the process. Now over the top of that, I'm going to go in with some black eyeshadow. The black eyeshadow I'm going to be using today is the black shadow from the James Charles Morphe palette. And I'm just going to take that and use that to set down that creamy black eyeliner that I have all over my lids. And this is why you do eyes first before foundation. Otherwise, you'll have a whole heap of grief with black fallout all over your foundation base. And you're just going to have to start all over again. Now, once I've set that creamy black eyeliner down with no extra product on the brush, I'm going to start blending out those edges so that we don't have any harsh lines. Taking a 
clean fluffy blending brush that one's actually clean it's just a little bit stained I'm going to take it into this tan sort of shade here from the palette and use this to sort of blend out the edges and give myself a bit of a transition <laughs> again very lightly into some of that black eyeshadow I'm gonna start trying to blend out those edges and give myself a seamless blend into my transition so this look really requires a lot of patience and a lot of blending it's quite simple but it just requires a bit of patience <laughs> And now this is exactly why I always do my eyes first because now I'm gonna go in with a makeup wipe and clean up all that black fallout under the eyes. Okay, now for the thing that is going to make this whole eyeshadow look pop. I'm going to go in with the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in the shade Molten Midnight. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. Right all over the top of where I applied that, that black eyeshadow. And just with my finger, I'm going to sort of tap out the edges so I don't have any super harsh lines. With that fluffy blending brush that I used to apply the black, I'm just going to take a tiny little bit and apply it to the inner and the outer corners of my eyes. And sort of gently blend out over where I applied the glitter as well. I'm going to clean up all that glitter fallout again and then we shall go in with our foundation base. And now I'm going to moisturize, hydrate and prime my face using my glycerin. For foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. Contour, I'm going to be using the Models Prefer Contour Stick. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Oh, I forgot to contour under my lip as well. Down, I'm going to be using my RCMA translucent no color powder and I'm going to bake a little bit under the eyes as well For bronzer, I'm going to go into my Maybelline city bronzer For a bit of 
light blush, I'm going to be using the Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade Peach Me Up. And this is also the blush that I have in my project pan at the moment, so I'm working on panning it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with a bit of that blush. And at the same time, I'm just going to allow some of that bake to blend away as well. Right, to finish off with the eyes, I'm going to go in again with some of that creamy black eyeliner in my waterline. And with a small detailed blending brush, I'm just going to blend in some black eyeshadow under my lower lash line. Taking that fluffy blending brush again with no extra product, I'm just going to continue to blend the lower lash line so it's not as harsh and a little bit more of a smoked out effect. And then I'm going to start taking it up a little further up here as well to further intensify the black smoky eye look and so that it doesn't look so bottom heavy on the lower lash line and just sort of balance itself out from the lower lash line to the upper part of my eye. Now it's time to drench my face in some highlight. First, I'm going to use some setting spray. And while my face is still damp, I'm going to go in with my Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. I'm going to use that as an inner corner and an underbrow highlight as well. I feel like I need to blend out the edges of that highlight so I'm gonna go in with my blush brush with no extra blush on it and just sort of blend out those edges of the highlight okay I feel like eyeliner is quite lost on this look simply because it's already so black and intense but I am gonna go in with some mascara and some falsies and I'll be right back all right Finally, it took me long enough. For mascara, I used the Essence All Eyes On Me Mascara. And for the falsies that I'm wearing today, I'm just using a set of falsies from the brand Kiss in the style Ritzy. Now to finish off this look, it would not be a complete glam look if I did not have a full bold red lip. So my go-to red lip is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Atlantic City. First, I'm gonna line my lips with a basic red lip liner, and then I'm just gonna go over the top with the liquid lipstick. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear and I'll be right back. Let's go. Let's go. you guys so this is the finished look it only took me an hour and a half to get it done but it's because I suck at applying falsies I would have probably cut a good 15 minutes off this whole entire application if I wasn't applying falsies but anyway I have got to run my friends are waiting for me at the pub um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already don't forget that I do put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads thank you guys again so much for the input that you put on my poll on my Instagram stories I'm trying to be a lot more better with updating you guys on my Instagram stories I know that you do enjoy seeing them and me just having a chat with you guys on there so I'm gonna try and be a little bit better on there for you all as well thank you so much for watching you guys I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye I'm just going to set that down. Actually, I'm not going to set that down. 
Okay, now for the thing that I'm going to be using my Maybelline.